So I got the Bose RV 9BB solar panels, and these solar panels are actually have a higher output than other solar panels its size. They're relatively inexpensive. I will put the link for them in the video description where you can find them. We've got eight of these going on the roof of this bus. So it's like 90 degrees out today, so it's hot. We've got our awnings out, which helps a decent amount. But today we're gonna be doing solar panels and I wanna just kinda of share with you guys what we're doing and how we're doing it. First of all, I got my solar controller. This is the Victron MPPT 150 solar controller. Next, I got some three quarter inch screws for screwing in our brackets. To seal any of the openings we make in the roof, I'm gonna be using this putty tape which you can get on amazon links in the video description i also got eight gauge wire this is 50 feet of red 50 feet of black eight gauge solar cable i'll put the link in the video description these are weatherproof abs solar cable entry points so what these are awesome for is it enables you to have an entry point from your roof that's completely sealed completely waterproof so you can run your wires in and, and down into your coach without risking them leaking. And I will be putting butyl tape around that as well. I did get two of these because I plan on bringing the wire in in two different places. I plan on running you know, four solar panels in and another four solar panels in. So we're not running eight solar panels in on just one cable. These are the solar panel brackets. They're aluminum brackets. They come with all the mounting hardware, self-tapping screws and bolts, and we'll show you guys how these are mounted to the solar panels. So on our current bus, we have Bosch RV solar panels and they've been great. We haven't had any issues with them. The ones we have on there are 180 watt output. These are 200 watt output and they're really not that much bigger. These are our solar brackets. They just simply go on like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna bolt all these on here. You've got your bolt washer, your lock washer, and then your nut. And I'm basically just putting that on there like that, putting my bolt through there, getting that nut started. And that's pretty much how you install all the brackets. There's four brackets. All right guys, so this is Ashton. So we have all eight solar panels bracketed up. Look at this. Not only will this charge our batteries and give us power, but it also gives you shade on the roof of your bus. You think a lot about shade when you're in Florida in the summertime. All right guys, we're back up on the roof. The other day we got rained out, so we're picking up where we left off. Ashton's about to hand me the solar panels and we're gonna start laying them out and see how they work best on the roof. So this is gonna be our basic layout right here. We've got four panels here that are all gonna be connected together with this Y branch that's got four connectors for the positive, four connectors for the negative. And we have four more solar panels on this side. Again, we'll take a Y branch with four connectors and connect it down. So after it leaves the roof and goes down into our electrical bay, it connects into the solar charger and then from the solar charger to the batteries. So the first thing we're gonna do is have Julie go ahead and drill me a pilot hole from down below to run our wiring through here. All right. Okay, great. So we got our pilot hole here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mount the solar panels in place. The way I'm doing this is the same way I did it on my last bus. It worked great. I just am gonna use some butyl tape and run it on the underside of this bracket, the full length of that. So it's got something that kind of is a buffer. It seals up any opening that would be there from the screws. All right guys, the next stage is cutting our hole in for our wire to come up through. And this will sit over our hole. So let's go ahead and cut in our hole. I'm gonna feed this other one down as well. 
Make sure when you're doing a bus conversion, you order plenty of butyl tape because you'll need it. We're gonna go ahead and place our through box over the hole. Get our box set nice in place here. As you tighten these caps down, it causes a seal to form tightly around the wires. So our next step is going to be connecting our Y branches into all of our solar panels. Do keep in mind that these solar panels are generating power right now. So if you're doing a similar project, just keep in mind that there's power running through these wires. So you do want to be careful. These have a little positive symbol on them. And so what we want to do is we want to connect our positive into this connector and then we'll have positive on this end that will run into our positive wire here. Same with this one here. Connecting our positive from this panel and then we'll connect in our positive to this panel. And then when we have our wire connected down there into our solar charger, we'll come back up here and we'll connect this into this wire and that will go to our solar charger. So there's our connectors and again, we got our positive, we've got our negative, and that's how simple it actually is to hook up solar panels. They're really not complex, they're not complicated. So we're basically gonna mimic what we've done here on our front four panels exactly the same. All right guys, hopefully that helps you in your solar project that you're doing on your own conversions or on your own RV. Like I said, it's really not that difficult. And in a future video, we'll be showing you how we're gonna be hooking those wires that are coming from the solar panels into our solar controller. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah, have a great day. Send me some cool weather and be sure to, to like, comment, and subscribe.